do love to work with um, cedar and wood and stone and all kinds of natural products, but I need a break once in a while. And so I also love antiques. And Mr. Capper found this six foot uh, two man saw at an antique store and thought I might like it. And I absolutely do. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip it down This is what the saw blade ended up looking like after I had it stripped and uh, sanded it and wire brushed it and sanded it again and wire brushed it again. Um, it's, you know, it's got a little bit of uh, rust to it, which I love. And I like the fact that it's not just a solid sheet of metal. So it does have some spots that are a little bit more worn than others, but I like that. Uh, the handles, they cleaned up pretty good. Uh, they were covered in a bright red paint, so I'm going to leave it just a little bit red tinged. But I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of poly on here. And the reason I'm doing that is because the markers that I'm going to use to paint with um, work a lot better if you have a surface that has that covered. This is how it looks after that coat of varnish. It gives it kind of a leathery color. Uh, it's you know, like a rusty brown, steel, metal type color, which will work perfect because the lettering I'm going to put on will be white. So I wanted it a little bit darker so it'll show up the lettering. I have this saw on the workbench now because I'm going to start working on the lettering. And what I decided with was just the phrase, in the backwoods. Uh, I think it fits really good with our environment here, with our decorations, uh, with our life. And, um, you know, kind of blends in with the saw. So I have the letters. All I did was do them in Word on the computer and print them. And then I centered them. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tracing paper. It's actually sewing tracing paper. Um, I'm going to use the white one. That'll show up good on here. All right, I have all the letters transferred. So I'm just going to take this off. And I intentionally made these two words smaller just to offset it. So it's not just one plain uh, font and, and a plain size. So... The backwoods part will stick out a little bit more, but uh, that's exactly what I wanted. Now is when the patience kicks in. Um, what I use are these Sharpie. Uh, they're just a, a white marker, and it has paint in it. All I basically do is outline my uh, mark that I have. You also have to be careful not to push down on the tip. I've done that accidentally and it leaves a huge glob of oil-based paint that's really hard to get rid of. 